Restoring the roof of my carriage art studio. You might recall from my earlier video, link in the description, that we bought a house that had a train carriage in the backyard. So the train carriage is a red rattler. Um, it's called a proper name is the Tate train. And here it is, it was just sitting in our backyard and it was starting to fall apart in various sections. So, so there's a proper red rattler or Tate train. That's how it should look. But mine was not quite in that state. And so I uh, determined that I would turn it into an art studio. And uh, so you're gonna see a little bit of that uh, coming up in a moment, just how I determined I would do it. The inside, it's not shocking, like it's dusty and, and it was damp because there was water coming in through the roof, but it, but it was not shocking. And um, I'm going to be able to restore that quite well, I think. But the first job was to get it watertight. We'd had water coming in through the roof in various sections and that was dribbling down the walls. So we put a tarp on it and got to work on that roof. One of the first things we set up was actually scaffolding. We got rid of that ladder, way too dangerous. Here we are with the scaffolding. And I began cleaning. And so I had a pressure washer. As you can see, there's a fair amount of train that I've got to do. And we did it in sections. That bit of scaffolding went up and down nine times. Four times on each side and once at the front. So here I am right at the start of that journey and we're cleaning off, pressure hosing off the roof. And then it was time to start putting the coating on. So the coating's a product called Sick Elastic. It's a rubbery kind of compound that just paints on. It's extremely stretchy and uh, four coats of that, one coat is primer, three coats on top, really created quite a waterproof seal. So I thought I'd give you 20 seconds of what it was like to move the scaffolding. It actually took longer than shown there. But we had our three pieces. We take the main deck off first, put the three pieces, move them along, put the main deck back on again, and we're all set to go for the next section safely, which is important. And here I am working on a section, painting away, painting that sick elastic on. That's the first coat. The first coat was just a primer and then I'd put three more coats of sick elastic on and um, that would seal the roof. It really was quite good. Of course, we had other things to do on the roof, those little whirly things, little grey whirly things you see in the front. They provided air to the train. But because the train's no longer travelling on a track, they don't really work as intended, although I'm sure they do let some air in. Here you can see the state of the roof. Parts of it were really quite rotten and I dug them out. Uh, I used a product, a wood hardener in various places. I filled, I replaced some timbers and uh, used various compounds to create a nice sealed area. And so that's the kind of work that we had to do. When I say we, it was my mate Richard and I working on this roof together. Richard helped with the scaffolding and, and the thinking and the paint and all that kind of stuff and the metal for the clear story, which is the piece in the middle. You can just see there the bit of roof that comes up higher and uh, various other bits and pieces. So we have now a train that is waterproof from the top. And if you can remember what it was like before, well, let me show you a picture of what it was like before. This is how it was. It was terrible. Now we have uh, spent a lot of effort and the entire train is sealed from the roof so that I can get on with recreating it inside as an art studio, which is why this train restoration is on this channel. If you don't like videos about train restoration, don't worry. I'll be back to looking at great works of art and giving you my views on them pretty soon. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. 
If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.